game of the season right here in the Signal Iduna Park. And they welcome Cologne for what should be a great afternoon here in Dortmund. The players making their way out onto the pitch. And the kickoff just a moment away. Plenty to look forward to. So settle in, get comfortable. Make sure you've got a drink and some snacks. Because something tells me got a great 90 minutes of football ahead of us. Something to really enjoy. Aidan Terzic out as well. The, uh, a big season for him. BVB will be wanting to bounce back from that disappointing end to last season. Getting ever so close, but just not close enough. Will it be different this time round in the 2023-2024 season? Well, everyone hoping so, that's for sure. to see Rami Benzibaini doing game time in a black and yellow shirt under his belt. There he is the number five. A really, really solid display against Chelsea. Things expected from him. Brought in, of course, to replace the departed Rafael Guerrero. There's a slot of right in at left back. Great job so far. Always great for a manager when players you bring in just slot into your team effortlessly, which is what the Benzibain seems to be doing. So often is the case, of course, that players need time to settle, need time to adjust to the, the way the team trains, the way they set up, the way they play in general. Of course, Benzibain with bags of Bundesliga experience won't feel out of place playing in the league. But Winning a new team is always a new challenge. It's one that he seems to be taking on with ease, which is great news for BVB, of course. Marcel Sabitzer, another summer arrival in today's starting lineup. Yet to get a full 90 minutes under his belt, but a game time he has been given, he's been able to take full advantage of. And he too. Seems to be settling in nicely. Could very well be a big part of Aiden Terzic's plans in midfield this season. Alexander Meyer in goal as the match gets underway here. Alexander Meyer, one of the standout performers in pre-season, if you ask me. Every time he's been called upon, has delivered and at times even gone beyond that. Standing performances in between the sticks from Alexander Meyer. And of course, you always want competition for places within the squad. Alexander Meyer getting Eden Terzic plenty to think about in terms of who his number one keeper should be. Would be surprised to see Gregor Kobel lose his place in the opening few weeks of the season, but you never know. playing from left to right here in his first 45 great atmosphere fans, fans should I say playing their part already A taste of what's to come in a week's time in two weeks time they're at home again it's that first round away from home in the DFB Pokal pressure and tenacity on the show there from Rami Benzibaini To Marcel Sabitzer. Austrian back on his feet though. And as for Dortmund's opponents here, Ajax Amsterdam. Not long ago when they were one of the teams in Europe. He's in the latter stages of the Champions League players still have such an incredible academy and similar to BVB in that regard but in recent times see more and more of those players leaving the club the two big big players for them 
leaving this summer, Urien Timber. Joining Arsenal to uh, test himself in the Premier League. The team who will be fighting for that title this season as well. And of course, Dusan Tadic has made the move to Fenerbahce on a free transfer. What a massive player he's been for Ajax for the last three to four, maybe even five years. So he will be a big miss. And brought in some players, the likes of Benjamin Tahirovic from Roma. Filling for Dusan Tadic. Sabitzer comes forward here, chance to get a shot off, does. It's a decent save in the end from Rulli in goal. BVB still on the ball here. Looking for a way through, the free kick's going to go against Dortmund here. Foul by Uncle Royce. Another look at the uh, Sabitzer shot from distance. Outside of the right boot, trying to curl it away from the keeper. From that bottom right corner, but Giovanni Morulli in goal. Well positioned to make the save. Picked off again. Daniel Marlin now comes forward with the ball. Lovely little uh, shift out to the right for Sebastian Allaire. Trying to centre it quickly. Bodies in the box though. This is a very strong start from Dortmund. Keeping Ajax pinned back in their own half here. At the moment, Sabitzer to Marlin. Looking for options. Lays it off to Royce. A chance now, the new club captain. Confident start here from Dortmund. Keeping the ball around nicely. Seeing plenty of the ball. Very nippy going forward as well in that final third already. Causing Ajax a few problems. Please help settle the nerves a little when you get a shot on target. In those first five minutes of a game, here's Hummels. Lovely ball inside, great goal, Dortmund. Textbook stuff from BVB. And Mats Hummels with a world-class delivery outside of the right boot, just had a quick look. Saw Julian Brandt making that run in towards the near post. And he had the composure to finish, well, ever so confidently. BVB rewarded. All this fantastic start to the game, great link-up play. Hummels with a peach of a pass there to Julian Brandt. He sides foot it, side foots it, should I say. Inside that near post, Rulli with absolutely no chance, definitely onside as well. And what a start from Dortmund. Stephen Bergman. Oh, dink inside, and it's the answer straight away from Ajax Amsterdam. Their first real move forward, and they found the back of the net. Brian Brobby. Is it Taylor actually? Brian Brobby with the header down. It's a well taken one as well. Just lets it glance off the top of the noggin into the far corner. Alexander Meyer unable to react quickly enough from close range. Just like that, it's one apiece. An entertaining start to this season opener.
Edin Terzic will surely be disappointed. Just the fact that EVB conceded, but how quickly they conceded after scoring the opener. Dink over the top. And Robby the target. Too much on that one, allowing Meyer to come out and collect. <laughs> and of course, another player who knows all about the Bundesliga. Spent time with RB Leipzig on low. And straight from the Ajax under 21s to Leipzig, the 21 22 season. And a jump. It's time to turn. And Sule into play. So Sule does have a decent strike on it. Get low and hard. Rulli to get down early. On it as well. Press here from uh, BVP. Strong play from uh, Kudus. The BVP player, too many though for the Ajax winger there. A bit dangerous once again. And there, it's Brandt into play. Punches into the box. To uh, fizz one across to the face of goal there. Locked on its way through though. He'll be able to keep the pressure on. Benzibaini. That's for the spectacular. There from Emma Chan. Oh, 
Ovation header there from uh, Rami Benzibaini. Kudus just lurking behind him there to make sure he and Alexander Meyer convincingly. but twice just catching him right in the Achilles as well second challenge so Sabitza back on his feet but hobbling slightly actually underway I think inside from Zabaini a great back heel from Alea and a voice it's a first time, it's a decent save by Rulli in goal. Another great move on that left side. there he called back cheeky little back heels there from my left he's doing everything right and taking the shot on early In the lead for BVB again. Mohamed Kudus in the most recent Men's World Cup. Since then, we'll talk about where he's going to go to next. Still with Ajax. The transfer window is well and truly open. Plenty of interest in the player. Apparently, Brighton in the Premier League, very close. Securing his signature, nothing concrete yet. They're fine. Three 
through ball to Taylor. It's probably again trying to get a shot off. Don't really see any space to do so. Terzic with plenty of youngsters on the bench, as has been the norm throughout pre-season this summer. It's Hendry Blank, Guillermo Bueno, Paul Mann, Samuel Bamba. Possible second half substitutes or half-time substitutes, depending on how Eden Terzic has to take on this game. And of course, the names are all used to. Said Mokoko has a new arrival, Felix and Mecha. I'm sure we'll play some part here. Against Ajax, Salia, Chan, Marius Wolf. Antonius Papadopoulos. And Gregor Kobel, as already mentioned. It's a lot cut. Backup keeper on the bench. We'll see quite as many changes as we have in uh, previous pre-season friendlies this summer. Of course, just a week away of a week away from competitive action now. Tazic will to be getting his starting eleven together, making sure they get that full match fitness as well. You can see this eleven play the majority of this match. say there won't be any substitutions but not quite as many I don't think Supports. That's the blocking. By Riesen. Julian Brandt on the move here. That's a soft call. That's Julian Brandt. Looked like he was uh, being fouled there as he tried to carry the ball forward. A number of occasions by Bergwijn. A leg out, not sure there was any contact there on the Ajax left back Saladin. She has certainly made a meal of it though.
Sovic a play there from Alexander Meyer. One of his game that a few people underestimate. He's very good on the ball. Which isn't always a given with goalkeepers. Handball. Apparent handball. Lance Hummels was very happy with the decision to it came off the midsection rather than the arm. He does catch his left arm, but it's right up at his chest there. I'm not sure what else he can do to. Have a handball given against it. Very harsh decision. Taylor and Mohamed Kudus standing over the ball for Ajax here. It's a good distance out. Kudus to take it. Can't keep it down though. A few metres over the cross by that time. Benzibaini. And the move here. Dortmund left back. Continues his run. points of this uh, first half it's been an entertaining match so far really really good start by BVB the immediate equaliser which came out of nowhere really since then it's been relatively even Pick out Reyes and cuts it back nicely. And Royce denied by Rulli again. Left footed shot, a little too central by the side of the keeper there, and it's 2 1. Great play to find him though. He beat ever so dangerous on the wings. Left side, especially at that time. Coming along the right with Reyes. Ball by Hummels to pick him out and then the composure to cut it back perfectly for Royce. press Kudus for support it's in the fall Steven Bergwijn this is a really good save from Alexander Meyer looking for that 
far corner. Didn't quite get it wide enough, which gave Alexander Meyer a little bit of help in terms of making the save, but it was a save that still wasn't simple. Things livening up once more here in the Signal Iduna Park. And, uh, chances at both ends in a matter of maybe a minute and a half or two minutes. of space the fans urging the ball to go his way nice picking up the pieces Inside the Ajax half and of course a form of Benzabaini blocked there touch Benzabaini in space on the left side and brought down by Divine Wrench a little too aggressive Marco Royce opportunity. Local body strength from Riesen. Fires it straight into Oliver Ertzen, the central defender. Good save by Alexander Meyer, the deflection making it a little bit more difficult. Just had to readjust. Made the save with his right shin. Great reactions from the BVB shot stopper. Ball situation here. For Dortmund and a chance to retake the lead. Ranz with the delivery, it's not a bad one either. Oh, doing his best to get on the end of it. Oh, far away from doing just that. Maybe be able to keep the pressure on though here with Daniel Mal. The worst of deliveries. Great cross. Emre Can was there to nod it home from close range. Oliver Hansen. But you just nick it away from the BVB captain in time. A handball that it looked like it came up off the knee of Mohamed Kudus and struck the left arm. Very quick to wave play on. Just a 
Good to see that one. Again, in a uh, slow motion replay. Interesting to fully understand the handball rule this season because the easiest of rules to understand at times. And when you think you do understand it, it ceases to amaze or surprise. Some of the decisions that are given, not given, everything in between. It's definitely a part of the game that needs a little bit more clarity, if you ask me. there and absolutely no time to get a, an arm out of the way once it ricocheted off his knee and if you consider the handball given against Hummels not too long ago a difficult one voice Dink into Allaire. Oh, he's being pulled back there slightly. Just put him a, a little off balance as he took the shot on. Link up there with Marco Royce, who did really well. Slightly better contact and strike on the ball there, and it's 2 1. it slightly get another look at that and then Kudus handball inside his own penalty area I do agree it would have been harsh nevertheless plenty of Dortmund players moving towards the referee First 45 still to go. Perhaps a minute or so to be added on as well. Break away on here now with Daniel Marlin. Muscled off the ball by Kudus. Too aggressively. Moving to the referee who produces the first yellow card of the game as well. in that to be fair and two questionable decisions from the referee in this first half but with it being a friendly a little doom and gloom I suppose Too close to the arriving Saladin to get the tackle in. Another Dortmund throw. Smart play from Julian Riesen. 
have too many options on, was surrounded by Ajax players in that corner. Does enough to draw the foul. Now his teammates to now get a ball into that danger zone. Some great deliveries already in this first half. They pick out a Sebastian Allaire. Perhaps a Mats Hummels. The chart. Some of the uh, usual targets. It's Hummels at the back post. Can't keep the header down though. How many times have we seen him find the back of the net from those sort of situations? from Brandt. Just leaning forward slightly on that header, Hummels. Hopefully uh, top of the head rather than the forehead as well. Hummels put under pressure slightly by that it's from Sula. pictures just moments ago. See Molly Duna Park in all its glory. Not quite full capacity here today but for a non competitive match. Still a sensational turnout. It sounds like it's full anyway. Those in attendance making themselves heard. Playing their part. No surprises there though. Well, great ball from Royce, lovely little flick. What a goal that could have been. Attack still on though. Some delivery, it's come back to Royce. Forcing a stunning save from Geronimo Rulli there. What a great little minute of action from BVB. One touch football in the build up there was, well, second to none really. Royce, just a little more central than he would have hoped. That shot, and taken quickly and short by BVB. Oh, a good ball in this time from Sabitzer. And trying to turn the screw a little here. His final few minutes of the first 45. And letting Ajax out of their own half. Looking uh, to finish the way they started on the front foot. Performance in this first half from Marco Royce, he's been absolutely everywhere. At the heart of pretty much anything in that final third as well. Definitely 
certainly uh, a new sort of role for Marco Royce. At times last season, but this season it's going to be the norm, really. That freedom to roam, get forward and get involved, but drop deep and try and start build up as well. Come up with Riasson here. says the referee and then Kudus some nifty footwork it's the space for the pass out wide here's Bergwijn that's the shot off so a little gap there in between Sula and Sabic so to take advantage of it it's been easy to see that for Alexander Meyer well positioned to make the save Time added on an action packed first 45 here in the Signal Iduna Park. 1 1 and a half time score between BVB and Ajax. Julian Brandt with the early lead for BVB. And then a minute later, Brian Brobby heading home for the equalizer. After that, a rather even affair. Dortmund probably with the better chances. Ajax, however, Looking dangerous themselves going forward. A mouth-watering second half to look forward to. And that is just around the corner, so make sure you join us for it. Until then, stay safe, and as always, take care. Olivier Hudson coming off. Yakov Nidic coming on. for BVB really strong first half and the former captain great to see that child there number eight Be quite as free roaming as Michael Royce was you feel central area but is a player he's very box to box as well so just because he won't be quite as free roaming doesn't mean he won't cover as much ground joining our Wolfsburg for a cool 30 million euros good bit of business by BVB This summer, the Dortmund, of course, the loss of Jude Bellingham, a big miss for BVB, but the money brought in from that. Only something to take notice of. Chance here for Dortmund. Danger not over yet. Nielsen pushing the back of Zabaini there. to the referee straight away to get the reaction he or the Dortmund players or fans were hoping for though still Dortmund continue to come forward it's Daniel Marlon Of course. 
Barbosa. That's academy product. He spent time with Arsenal's under 18s and under 23s as well. As Kudus just can't get the ball out from underneath his feet there, thankfully. Alexander Meyer. To keep both hands on the ball. As a result, back to Daniel Marlin. Part of the Ajax Academy. Tried his luck with Arsenal. Their youth teams as well before coming back to the Netherlands. And for joining up with the arch rivals, here's the Eindhoven. Breaking into the first team there, impressing. A number of seasons before making the move in Dortmund. are out the Ajax fans appreciated by all of the Dortmund fans it would seem plenty of whistles Quite understood. Flares really. I suppose they can look spectacular when lit up in numbers, but yes, I think we're still going to the end of that one. But back to the flares, it just blocks the view for pretty much everyone around the flares, and then the majority of that half of the stadium as well. Seems to defeat the point of going to watch football. Maybe that's just me. Not to mention all the poor folks that then have to breathe in the fumes as well, with lots of young fans in attendance as well. So exactly what you want. It's just a bit too early to get going. Really need to set off as early as he did. Had plenty of space to work with. Nearly. Is it Dortmund the lead? Block in the end. The Ajax defender there. Love the corner. It's a good start to the second half from BVB. Just picking up where they left off, really. left foot really got the contact right there was always on the rise Still promising signs from BVB in these opening stages so well yet again very quickly uh, 
favourite already, Ivenzi Baini. Deservedly so. The season performances of above and beyond. People very sorry to see Rafael Guerrero move on. Such a key player. Borussia Dortmund, but Benzema Baini has uh, settled everyone's nerves very quickly indeed. A good ball in, and there it is. Felix and Mecha. Oh, what a substitution that is! And what a moment for him as well. his home debut only on the pitch for well eight minutes eight and a half perhaps he's uh, put BVB into the lead a very cool finish inside of the right boot credit to Benzibaini once more who uh, picks out Sebastian Allaire the front man who's back to goal lays it off Felix and Mecha takes it first time really good finish that the new boy has his goal as well. Welcome to the Signal Iduna Park. BBB 2 1 up now. I couldn't ask for more of your new arrivals to get on the score sheet, get involved. Early into his career, to Mecha doing just that. Dortmund will want to make sure they don't concede quickly. They did after the first goal. Instead, they try to build on it. or his right, just feels so comfortable on the ball. And to support Daniel Marlin as well. Pass from Emre Can. Zibaini might have been in on goal there. Versatility to his game, though, that the BVB terms of bringing him to the club. Ripping really good deliveries, but just as happy to cut inside, go for it himself, or link up with his little one two. to turn this is it across to Daniel Marlin oh, Benzibaini just fluffs the shot slightly like he hit ground before the ball there Down, therefore, he says no penalty. 
One on one uh, with Mohamed Kudus. Perhaps the fact that Kudus is already on a yellow card uh, played a part there. on his uh, right arm push there as well it's a little lucky there Mohamed Kudus it well uh, being the dominant side so far with almost 15 minutes for second half play from Rios in there Rios in still going they uh, allowed to continue is Benzibaini still Benzibaini lays it up for a net shot Felix and Mecha with not one but two goals. A really well taken one yet again. Just faked the shot initially. Saw the Ajax defender drift past him and then calmly slots it home. Credit to Julian Riesen though. Bulldozed his way forward. Run then. The ball out wide to Benzibaini selfishly lays it off for a match uh, looked like it might have been the wrong decision initially but that little drop of the shoulder there very clever play from a match up two of the new boys are linking up would that be a sign of what is to come well we certainly hope so don't we Introduction to the game, Felix and Mecha. Big boots to fill after that first half performance from Marco Royce, but my oh my, hasn't he filled them well? Nothing wrong with the challenge on Broby. Stay down here. Mecha, great ball. Daniel Marlin has his head up. No one really to pick out in the middle is Benzibaini. To take his time to get the shot off. Disappointing end to what was a really promising counter attack there. It's a matches ball that just completely sliced open the Ajax defense. Kudus with space. Tries it wide.
will be Mokoko. Torgan Hazard. So maybe Daniel Marlin is making way there. Big season ahead for young Yusuf Mokoko. He's to impress. Nielsen has come off as well. Team. Not exactly helping the commentators here. Here's Wolf, the player. And now at right wing back position, he's slowly but surely, should I say, making his own. Performances wing back in uh, pre season of that US tour. A chance to impress now. Final uh, seven minutes or so. as well. Sabitzer as well, the Austrian. It's gone a little under the radar, but that is the position he plays. Put together a really solid display. Partnership with Emre Can. Sort of central defensive midfield area. All one back by Benzibaini. Mecha going for the hat trick. He did have Wolf to his right. He was a little disappointed the ball didn't come his way, but you can't blame Felix and Mecha for going for goal with the two goals to his name already. And his home debut for the club. Sign of things to come. Well, we certainly hope so. Definitely one way 
to get the fans on side as quickly as possible. There's a matchup. Shot from distance. What a goal that could have been. Oh, he is in the mood, isn't he? Really curled back inside for him. Lovely technique on the effort. players. gone. Two goals to his name, Felix and Mecha will definitely be throwing his name into the hat for man of the match here. Two goals that could well secure victory. His final pre-season friendly and season opener for Signal Iduna Park, but another match for me until this point has been Rami Bentebaini. Another stellar performance at left-back Looks like he's been there for years. That is part of the goal scored as well defensively. He's looked solid as a rock. Link-up plays being good, deliveries have been good, distribution's been good. Just an all-round performance. As I say that, he gives the ball away. Obviously the commentator's curse coming into play. That's the first pass he's actually given away all game. And we didn't see it. Charm to match up. Finding right little pockets of space there. Up and down the middle. And lay off from Hazard. That's it back. First time. Taking Hazard. And just couldn't get the ball far enough forward to get a cross in. Was all just a little too close for comfort there. But initial link up play out on that right wing. It's a superb. The tackle from Bergmite. The uh, BBB corner. A chance for Edwin Terzic to make a few more changes. So the yeah, chap. And Bueno coming on. Benzibaini will go off to a standing ovation. And rightfully so. Really, really good display from him. Looks like a cracking bit of business. Considering he came with a free transfer as well. Player sacrificed. And Guillermo Bueno, one of the youngsters look really good in pre season. He'll be on the fringes of the starting lineup. The upcoming campaign as matchup. There's one into Rosie. Back, Bergwijn, 
What a save that is from Moya. Did everything right there. Came out early, made himself big, didn't go to ground too early. Fantastic stops there. Alexander Meyer, who continues to look ever so good. This season he's been having. Didn't look like Emily Chan was just nicked there. As the ball was stolen off him. Very happy to uh, continue that. Swift across. Chance that was. Medic. Time to substitute. Oh, yeah, the bottom corner there was a great delivery from Mohamed Kudus. again Jeez, yeah good save again Alexander Meyer took a wicked deflection there off the shot from Branko van der Bommen and just getting a touch on it made life difficult Alexander Meyer again a positional play Fantastic. Even if Gregor Kobel, the first choice keeper, coming season, reassuring is it to know that you have Alexander Maya as a backup. Yeah, it's just to uh, create a few chances here. Closing stages, we could have some outside position though, for the first time. We want to make sure that they finish the game as uh, strong as they started. We could have be coming off now. And it's Bortes going to replace him. Spot. Carry the ball forward. And to leave it to Brandt.
Ellis with the outside of the right boot. That's almost it's his aces up the sleeve. How many times have we seen him? Passes like that. It was a cross with the outside of the right boot. Which gave us the opening goal here this evening. Yes, it was as well. the overlap, Torgan Hazard, I should say. There's Broby, he's quick, will beat Hummels for pace. Maya with another save. And he's gone to war to make it. I think it's a, a clash between him and Hummels, which is the problem. Just goalkeeping from Alexander Meyer. The routine out there to make sure he's all right here. The ball over the top. Again, that positional play. It's actually the left knee from Broby. Catches Alexander Meyer right in the face. Good as Alexander Meyer beat. Hopefully, this isn't anything serious. He's right back onto his feet, which is good news. Fans showing their appreciation for what has been a standout performance in goal from that man. Header there from Hummels. Uh, truly into the uh, 10 minutes. Uh, lead by two. It takes him doing for Ajax to salvage something here, especially with the form. I think the Maya has been in. To mention that going forward, they look just as dangerous themselves. Pull into the path of Torgan Hazard. Football again. Oh, just cutting underneath the ball there. Might work initially though.
stuff from Emre Can. So he has he's in the back of his head there. He's on to Bueno, Bueno. And Mecha! He's desperate for that hat trick, isn't he? To central and Felix and Mecha if he puts that a little out to the right this is the uh, next defender is a, a bit of a blocker in front of the, the goalkeeper and he's in his third and Dortmund's fourth of the evening Coco did everything he could there. It's coming on, he's sort of been left all alone up front, really. It always makes life difficult for a striker. He's coming up with a little bit of magic there. Rhythm to Dortmund's game never really let off. It's not always the case in these preseason friendlies. And slightly surprised by how many changes have been made. Although they have come far later in uh, previous games over the summer. I suppose it's a double edged sword, really. Get the starting 11 match fit, the cohesion between them going well, but all your other players to be ready to jump into action when needed, and therefore they need to be just as match fit as well. So you want to get minutes under their belt. So, want to end pre season on a high with a win. Many things to think about. Jeez, uh, many people want to be a manager. Justice. Sula. And it's getting ready to make another change. And Zahirovic coming off. Just to uh, Linson to replace it. Challenge there. He felt he was on the end of a bad challenge himself. And the reaction is that far from called for. The 
are starting to lose their cool a little. And it's yeah. Not to get involved and protect his players, as you'd expect from Big Emre Can, especially with the uh, power involved at the end of that challenge from Broby. as young Guillermo Bueno. Well, card for the Ajax number nine. To the final minutes of the 19 now. It looks like it's a win is in the back for Edin Terzic. What a pre season it's been. That's all she wrote here for the season opener. It's another win in the summer for Borussia Dortmund. Edin Terzic will be absolutely delighted with how pre-season has gone. And even more delighted that some of the new arrivals have performed at the levels they have. After a one-all half-time score, Felix and Metzger, a summer arrival in midfield, coming on with a brace secures victory here against Ajax Amsterdam the perfect way to cap off a fantastic summer for the black and yellows and now we can look forward to competitive football once again a week from now on the 12th of this month Dortmund in the first round of the DFB Cup taking on Shot Mines and a week later it's the Bundesliga opener here Signal Iduna Park against Cologne as always will be there for every kick of the ball and I'm sure they're just excited and raring to go as we are well until then as always stay safe and take care